Hi guys and welcome back to the farmhouse. I'm Deanne from Hummingbird Acres and I'm so excited that you guys are here. We are working some more today on putting our gardens to bed for winter. Our growing season is just about over. So today we're going to harvest our last batch of tomatoes and I believe Jamie's going to harvest some peppers and possibly start fermenting them. So can't wait for you guys to follow along and yeah, I hope you guys find some inspiration for your homestead. It is a pizza day, so I am going to mix together our sourdough pizza dough, let it rise for a couple hours, and then we're gonna make some pizza tonight for dinner. So, to make our pizza dough, you have to have a sourdough discard, about a cup, three cups of flour, three quarter cups of water, a teaspoon of salt, and I do put a teaspoon of yeast in it to help it rise. So, this recipe is on our blog, you can find the link below. Um, so you guys can follow along as I make some pizza dough for tonight. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna do three cups of flour. One, two, three. Then I need teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of yeast. This is a very easy recipe. It's one of those that you can throw together, which is why I absolutely love it. <laughs> then I need a cup of sourdough starter. Um, this is an unfed discard, so. And it is thick.
And, uh, and the last thing before I put it on the mixer is three quarter cups of like lukewarm water. Put it on stand mixer with the paddle, not paddle, with the dough attachment on it. And then I normally put it on like two, oops, it's splattered everywhere. Put it on two and just let it knead until it forms a cohesive ball. Turn it off. Going to spray a bowl. Make sure that the dough is in a nice round ball. And I can actually feel that the dough is really cold. So it might take a little bit extra to get it to rise. I'm gonna cover this, I'm gonna put it in the oven with a either a bowl of really hot water so the steam heats the oven up, or I'll turn the oven light on. I'm thinking I'm going to do the light for now, and then if it hasn't risen enough by in like an hour or two hours, then I'll do a bowl of hot water, just because this dough is really cold. Actually did great rising in the oven even though it was really cold when I put it in there 
So about 45 minutes before I'm ready to start assembling the pizzas, I pull the dough out of the bowl, divide it into two uh, dough balls, spray two pizza pans with some oil and put the dough balls on the pizza pan and then put it back in the oven to let it rise a little bit longer. So that's where we are now. Both the doughs are in there. They're doing a little bit of rising. I'll get them out in about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes and start shaping them and get them ready to cook. Okay, so next thing is to form the dough. I did uh, heat the oven to set the oven to 450. So I always like to just turn this over one more time um, just to help and then push the dough out. There are so many different ways to do this. Um, I kind of do it like loosey goosey like this. My best friend does it a little more structured. It's really whatever works for you. Um, yeah. So I'm going to let that sit, um, just to let it rise a little bit more. This is a thin crust pizza, so it doesn't get very thick, but so let that rise a little more. I'm going to run down and get some pizza sauce and I'll be back. All right, time for sauce. And there are a couple different ways you can do this. Um, this is sauce that I made uh, and out of our tomatoes and I canned. I do have a recipe for just pizza sauce that you can um, make with sauce from the store. It's really just what you have time for. I... <laughs> so you can put the sauce down, put toppings on it, and then put it in the oven for six minutes, pull it back out, put cheese on it and more toppings and put it back in the oven for 10 minutes. But I think today what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put sauce on it. I'm gonna put it in the oven for six minutes and then I, when I pull it out, I will put the cheese and toppings on it. I did it that way last weekend and the kids really liked it that way. So figured maybe I'll just do it that way today too. Okay, the oven is up to 450. I am going to put the pizza in with just the sauce for six minutes on the middle rack. Once it has cooked for six minutes in the oven, we are going to add shears. And the toppings. And our kids love pineapple and ham, so that's what kind of pizza we're having tonight. And we do not have ham, so they're getting bacon. Which, in my opinion, is just as good. Hey, right, it's going in for 12 minutes. Good. All right, guys, how was the pizza? Good. Good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. If you taste it, it's really good. good. I heard you made. Love it. Yeah. Love it. The pizza is the crust. The crust is crunchy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. I love it when you eat the crust, but that's okay, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for visiting the farmhouse today. I hope you guys had a wonderful day, and we will see you next time. Bye.
Bye. Say something.